take care of home, especially after how last series went, losing two of them at home. So I think it's just a little bit more focused um, to finish games, no matter if we were up 15 and they still cut it down. And I think we just, I love how we stay poised through it all. You know, I think we can, we only was able to uh, to do that because when we went for in the first series. And, uh, you know, so glad that we uh, was able to finish it out at home, but we know uh, these guys are even more dangerous at, uh, at their crib. So us on the road, they're even more dangerous. Six row. Kevin Janey McCauley from AP. How much uh, was it? Did it uh, work in your favor to establish that defensively? You, you got a block and it took a charge right away against James. Yeah, I just, just wanted to be there in each position on the defense side of the ball. I think that's what's going to keep us in it on the offensive side. And uh, even if our shots aren't falling, we still got to you know, come bring it on that other side of the ball. So I just like the, the sense of urgency we had all night. Uh, they made some tough ones. They made some good shots, some nice shots. But uh, I think we just play hard. Uh, but they're a talented team. They're going to they find some cracks. To, in the defense, and, uh, but I think we just, I like how we kept playing for 48 minutes. Front row center. Ken Houston, what's something you touched on a little, what's the message about this series as well as y'all played? You were up double digits, they cut it to three with seven minutes left. What's the message going forward with this series? Uh, well, you know, they're never out of games because of the three-point shooting and um, the guys that can penetrate get to the free throw line. So they can stop the clock and they can, you know, speed the game up with the, their style of play. So, you know, uh, you no know lead is safe against this team, and uh, we all we know that, and we know that they're gonna make runs as well. So, like I said, I like how we stayed poised, and we didn't let that affect us on the defensive side of the ball, and we were able to take the lead from three back up to twelve, and you know it was like, it was just going back and forth. But I like how we uh, we stayed out front. Realized they needed to complain a bit less, not worry about the refs as much. Did it feel kind of like a pure basketball game? Yeah. I felt like both teams, both coaches. Just uh, let the rest do their job, I think, all night. There wasn't no talks about out on the court. The chatter wasn't about anything um, outside of just the game, um, what was happening between the players. Uh, so I think the rest did, amazing, the rest did an amazing job tonight. Players did a great job, and the coaches did not you know, let that affect them. Colin Moore, Henry, CBS Sports. Um, obviously, when James goes out, he shoulders such a big load. What did you see during those minutes, and, and how was it different playing against that? Well, I seen that we were up 10 when he went out, I think. What? I think 9 or 10. 9 or 10, and when he came back, they were they were down 4. So I think their bench did a great job of, um, you know, holding off until he got back into the game. First and fourth row center. Santa Rosa Preston correct. The playoffs are a pressure packed thing. A lot of players have a difficult time with it. Are you at the stage in your career where you can enjoy being in a pressure packed playoff situation? Uh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, once you realize it's just basketball and pressure is not, you know, the pressure that a lot of these guys go through when they normalize, they realize how they came up is, you know, what their family's been through, this is not really pressure to them. I seen a quote with Damian Lillard said the other day, and I thought that was perfect what he said. Um, if you haven't seen it, go look at it. But uh, it was a long quote. You should <laughs> but it summed it up perfectly what pressure means when you talk about NBA players, and I think a lot of guys feel that way. Uh, but it's just fun. It's fun being out there. You know, it's, what's the worst that can happen to either team? We both lose, and we got another game. So we one team lose, and then we play another game. So you know, I think uh, once everybody looks at it at the, in a you know more of a wide view of things, I think it's not that much pressure.